Question 10. KT invests £2,000 in a savings account for three years. The account pays compound interest at an annual rate of 2.5% for the first year, and then X% percent for the second and third years. There is a total amount of £2,124.46 in the savings account at the end of the three years. We need to work out the rate of interest in the second year. So, after year one, we'll have £2,000 multiplied by 1.025. That's an increase of 2.5%, which is £2,050. We'll call this x, like we've been given. So after year two and three, we'll have the £2,050 multiplied by whatever the multiplier is for this. We'll call it x still. And that happens twice because that's year two and year three. And we've been given that that equals £2,124.46. Now let's divide by 2050. So that gives us x squared is this value divided by 2050, which is 1.036. And if we take the square root, we find that's 1.01799. So to one decimal place, that's 1.018. This was a multiplier for a 2.5% increase, so this is a 1.8% increase. Katie goes to work by train. The cost of her weekly train ticket increases by 12.5%, £225. Work out the cost of her weekly train ticket before this increase. If we increase by 12.5%, then her new price is 112.5% of the original total. If we want to find 100% from this, we can first find 1%, and we do that by dividing by 112.5. We have to do the same on this side. And that gives us 2. We can then multiply by 100 to find 100%, and 2 times 100 is 200 pounds. 